The system test for the primary display system requires that you use each switch on the system components and monitor the displays for proper results. The skills that you use to perform the system test are also used to perform daily maintenance on the airplane. In this lesson, you will use the Synoptics status display and maintenance pages to monitor system operation, verify, and clear faults on the airplane. You will use both the primary and alternate controls for the display formats. Before you can use the synoptics, you need to apply primary external power. Battery power is on. With primary power applied, the displays show in the power up configuration. Locate the panel that you normally use to control the synoptic displays. The DSP is the primary control for the synoptics. Now show the electrical synoptic on the lower center DU. Good. Notice the primary external power indications. Now apply secondary external power and monitor the results on the synoptic. Primary and secondary power are on. You have used a synoptic to monitor a system. Next, you can see more information about all the synoptics. Here are the seven synoptics. For more information about a synoptic, select it on the DSP. To continue, select the green arrow.
A new ICAS advisory message shows that the DSP has failed. Locate another component that will let you show the synoptics. Correct. You can use any one of the three CDUs as an alternate DSP. Use the left CDU to show the electrical synoptic. Good. Notice that all the DSP functions are available on the CDU. The status queue on the iCast display shows that there is a new status message. Show the status display on the lower center DU. There is more than one page of messages. Show all the pages. When you are on the last page of messages, the selection of the status display switch causes the display to go away. Show the status display again. Select the information icon for more data on the status display or select the green arrow to continue. Status messages relate to dispatch critical items. What publication shows procedures for dispatch with fault conditions? That's correct. The dispatch deviation guide describes the dispatch procedures for certain fault conditions. As faults are corrected, there are three basic ways to clear the related status message. Self-clearing messages go away when the fault goes away. Other status messages latch in the LRU. You have to run a ground test to clear those messages. You will do this in other lessons. To clear some status messages, you must erase the message after you correct the fault. You will do this procedure later. You have used the status display to determine the condition of the airplane. Maintenance pages give in-depth system information. Locate the components on the captain's side that control the maintenance pages.
You use the CDU to show the main menu for the maintenance pages on the MFD. And you use the CCDs to control the menus. Now show the maintenance page menu on the lower center DU. Good. You have several tasks to do. Before you start, you can select the information icon to see more data on the menu pages, or you can select the green arrow and continue. The first page of the display menu shows. Look at the other menus and menu pages, then select the green arrow to continue. Those selections are not active now. Show the second page of the electrical maintenance page in real time. Show the individual page menu. Good. Notice that the maintenance page now has additional menu selections. Select the information icon to see more data on the page menu or select the green arrow to continue. Now return to the main menu. You need to go back to the maintenance office and look at a procedure about an old electrical problem. Before you go, print the oldest auto snapshot for the electrical system. Select the print menu first. Print the oldest auto snapshot. You now have the information you need. When you return to the airplane, you will erase that latched status message. You just completed work on a dispatch critical system. Now go to the maintenance page that you use to erase status messages latched in the primary display system. The maintenance task maintenance page let you erase latched status messages, erase maintenance task messages, and control the checklist function. Now make sure that the message is not on the status display.
There are no messages on the status display. The airplane is ready for dispatch. You have completed your tasks. In this lesson, you have operated the PDS controls for the synoptics, status display, and maintenance pages. You will use these skills to do the system test for PDS and to do routine maintenance on the airplane.